concept of parents and philosophies of parenting. One is, when you have kids, you make the house kid proof. You remove anything that's breakable, right? You make it kid proof. Another philosophy is, no, you go ahead and decorate and leave all that stuff out there, and then you just have to be extra disciplined to train the kids to make sure they don't do that, and then maybe when they go to other people's houses, they won't do it too, right? Well, either philosophy, you know, works in one way or another, but uh, Kimberly decided she's going to have this pot there with this silk flower, this little colorful thing coming out, you know, and such. Well, Jonathan pulled himself up on the coffee table, you know, and he's still wobbly, you know. And <laughs> but he got to looking at that colorful flower, you know, kids like color, right? And that caught his attention, he's looking at that thing. Well, I'm standing over there in the living room, I'm watching him, and I can see he's about to go for that flower. So he's wobbling here, and he starts to go like this, and, then, and I said, no. And here's what's interesting. He's only about 10 months old, okay? But when he went like this and I said no, he pulled back and went like this. <laughs> he knows what no means. And so he looked down, he looked at me, and he looked at me, and then he started going like this, and I said no, and he pulled back. <laughs> so then I thought, here's the dad for you. I, there, there was a big mirror over our fireplace, and so I thought, I'm not going to look at him. I'm going to look in the mirror. And he's not quite smart enough to know that's what I'm doing. So he looked at me, and I got my back turned to him, but I'm looking right at him in the mirror. And so uh, anyway, he looked at me, and he grabbed that body, and he grabbed the pot, and started doing this with him. So I turned around and said, Aha! You know? <laughs> He let that thing go, you 